Hey everybody, and welcome to Don't Open Your Eyes, a, uh, another itch horror game. Um, perfect for <laughs> the struggling artist to uh, keep up with. Ah, oh, I see. We are in our room. It is the door is closed. It's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. Better go to sleep. Ar no, close that door, you psychopath. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. And maybe because your fucking door is open, shut the door! Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. Mood. But not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly... Quiet. You know, minus the crickets. Quiet. Too quiet. Agreed. Those are the nights we close the fucking door. <laughs> I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. Maybe you should close the door. <laughs> the distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I know, since I've made a, uh, a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three. Absent mindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings, to the smallest details. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness, like the throat of a gargantuan beast. Usually, that's a good sign to close the damn door. I'm not letting this go. I refuse to let it go. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it, but there is, so fix it. It's just a hallway. But... I don't want to look at it. Hey, I've got a solution for you, buddy. Close the door. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. Or you can do that like a total fool. Mm, okay. This is how you die. In my room. There's a bed. I see. In my room. There's a wardrobe. In my room. There's pictures framed on the wall. I don't like where this is going. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. We were, were someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around. I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I see. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. What's that sound? Close the door. <laughs> Are those footsteps? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's impossible. If you die, I'm just saying right now that you deserved everything that happened to you. <laughs> it must be my imagination. I like to imagine this is how Freddy Krueger gets people. You're just sitting there like, Nah, there's no way Freddy Krueger would be here and stab me up the ass when my sleep. No, that couldn't happen. No, it's impossible. But it's getting closer. And closer. And closer. And closer. They are gone. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's always the first assumption. Right. There's no way someone could be there.
Oh, that's terrifying. Hi there, friend. Please don't kill me. Hey. Oh, hi. Open your eyes. Fuck it. <laughs> There's nothing there. Okay. Yeah, see, a game's easy. <laughs> I imagine that's probably not how you're supposed to do that. Hold on. <laughs> oh, cool, there's an autosave. I can just go right back. Okay, no, let's not do that. Do my best to ignore the voice, absolutely. Why don't you look at me. Where are your manners? Uh, you don't just creep in and. Stranger asks for help. Is it right to ignore them? Strangers don't break into people's houses and start whispering sweet nothings in their ear while holding their weird tentacly arm that doesn't have a hand on it on their knee. Is that how it is? No. I can feel someone breathing over me. Get, get off of me. You as well. It's, it's cold. Ah, so your breath is, like, dead. I will share a secret with you. I don't want to know any secrets I have to do with you. I have never seen myself before. Well, maybe you should have bought a mirror then, bucko. I don't know if my face is ugly. Okay. And that's my problem. Why? I don't know the color of my skin. Yeah, it's not an important detail anyway. The less you see color, the better. I don't know if I'm even here. Huh. That is why I need you to open your eyes. Let's say no. So tell me how I look. But I'm also shy. Okay. How am I supposed to look at you then? I know you're not asleep. I'm not, but I'm very intrigued. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. Hey, don't talk about my ears like that. I'm very sensitive about them. Dick. They look so fragile. I mean, aren't we all? Look, I could almost grab them. Please don't. I feel something caress my ear. Stop. I do not consent to this nonsense. And tear them off. Uh, yeah, about that. Could you, could you not? Psycho. Will you scream? Yeah, probably. Will I hear your voice? If I scream, yeah, generally that is how that works. It was a joke. I don't believe you. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh-huh, okay. Don't be scared. I'm very scared. Look at me, I'm such a scared boy. I'm a, I'm a scared little boy. Hell. Hey. How do you think my eyes look when our cases finally meet? What will you find? Well, I want to say normal human it's eyes, me. but something tells me no. Oh, look at him. He's sad. He's a sad boy. That may be so.
How? My days consist of wandering about aimlessly, searching for something. Ah, so you're you're literally lost. I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. But what are you searching for? The thought terrifies me. I mean, I guess I can relate to so much. not wanting to be lost. So I always keep my eyes peeled. Oh. Well, that just sounds boring. Like a drive through New Mexico. Ha! <laughs> Roasted! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very tired today. And New Mexico's not boring to drive through. It's just flat plain lands that you have, that all the highways are next to are boring. That way, nothing will slip away. No matter where it goes. And no matter where it hides. See, but like, that sounds exhausting. Like, seeing everything always, keeping your eyes peeled and paying attention to every minute little itty-bitty detail of what's going on around you. I don't know. No matter how terrifying the world might be. That it is. No matter the countless terrible things I witnessed by mistake in the process. See, that's my point. It's exhausting because you see, you see some shit like that. Then your eyes will dry out and you'll be sad. Sadder because your eyes are dry. Get some eye drops and take a nap, dude. I'll forever be confused by the worlds around me. You know that's the first relatable thing he's said this entire time. I will forever be lost. Me fucking what is too. That something that I'm searching for? That's a million dollar question of the night. Am I Yes, I'm going to respond to everything he says. It don't mind it. Well, maybe you need to step back and reevaluate then there, mate. What is it? Hmm. I don't know if I'm the one to ask. It's something I can hold. Maybe. Is it a being of flesh and bones? Is it nearby? Don't you dare say it's me, you creepy fuck. <laughs> is it you? No, absolutely not. What? Have you ever looked so fervently for something? Uh, I mean, I lose my pen at least once a day. And you end up losing yourself in the process. I can't say I have, have off the top of my head. I remain silent. Good call, buddy. You, you, I would die in this situation. I'd be like, yeah, man, I... <sighs> Solidarity, yeah. <laughs> and then he'd stab eyes. me. I think so. Good answer. What if I had said no? There is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. Okay, let's do it. Sure. You're gone again, aren't you? Asshole. There's nothing there. I want to see what happens My if I say eyes. no. Is that so? Then, how do you think my eyes look when our cases finally meet? What will you find? Answer me. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna load back to the other one. No. So you won't look at me. I refuse. You don't know what my I eyes look them, like. But I can imagine them behind their fell of flesh. Can you? Round like pearls. I don't know, are they? And shiny like jewels. I think that's just the ring light, buddy. <laughs> so, so pretty. 
Okay, can you not, like, breathe on personal space? Have you heard of it? I need you to just, like, back. Like, a five-foot diameter. I need some room to exist without your shit getting in it. Something tells me you, like, trapped my house in the Upside Down or some shit like that. And you won't leave me until I either look at you or don't, and I don't know. I don't trust you, though. Okay, can you stop breathing so heavily? Everything about you unsettles me. People are good at closing their doors. It, most of them. Do you know what a door is? To be honest, I don't think this character does, because they keep their door open when they go to sleep. No, I don't think he you does. Right there, at the verge of your little world. Yet you won't shut it. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. Bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. You, you are a bad. Sometimes. Me. Oh God, damn it. <laughs> Well, that just sucks for you, doesn't it? Should I push or pull? Sometimes neither. Should I turn the knob left or right? In most cases, that doesn't matter as much as you would think. However, I have seen doors that are very picky about which way the knob turns. So there's some validity in this, but only a little bit. I'm only giving him that. Well, that's a little barbaric, but it would work. Should I chip away at it? Hoping it will fall apart. <laughs> what happens when it opens? Generally, you go through. <laughs> Do I close it behind me? If you want to be polite, yes. If you're less polite, yes. But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. I think your presence alone has that effect on people. But then, how do I get out? You open it again. And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? You open it again. So many options. So many things I could go. I think I've solved it. Our monster here has a crippling fear of doors and openings. I stare at it for a long time and think of my excuses because that's all they are. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist to keep me out. Among other things, but yes, generally you because you're creepy as fuck and you need to leave. why they're closed. So I search for a crevice or a window. You just suck, don't you? Anything that might be open. Anything that might let me in. I'm not good with doors. But as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can go in anywhere. I think this guy is like half cat. He's got the if I fit I can get in mentality. See, but if you do that, then why are you here bothering me when I'm trying to sleep? Care to explain? Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt, I feel at home there. But sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. I don't want to hear about your urges. The urge to be seen. Then stop hiding. <laughs> So I search hard for a door that's open. 
Thankfully, this guy's the idiot that got the uh, lottery ticket here, isn't he? For an entryway covered in darkness. And for someone to be at the other end. Awake. And I'm not, like, ragging the game, by the way. This isn't me, like, talking shit on it or anything. I'm just making fun of this guy because I think it's genuinely disgusting that he doesn't leave the door closed. But, for the purposes of the game's plot, I totally get it. I'm just ragging on the character, not the game. As if... expecting me. But you won't look at me. Nope. Even though you had your door open for visitors. Mm, that's debatable. Why is that? Are you... afraid? Yes. Do I... scare you? Yes. It, uh, we haven't really been chatting. It's more been you talking at me and me being like, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, don't kill me, don't kill me. Please, God, don't kill me. You haven't chased me out. Yeah, crippling fear will do that to somebody. That means you welcome me. No. <laughs> so I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand... Touch me and I will cut you. Something moves over my bed sheets. Do not you dare. You would reciprocate and grasp I don't want to grasp anything you're putting in my general direction there. Sure your hands are warm. Touch me not heathen. So very warm. Because people are always warm. False. Hey. How do my hands look? Ah. Uh. They look tired. They look tired. Yeah. Oh, I hate it. Oh, God, I hate it. Oh, I that's so. horrible. Fingers, bitch, don't you dare. The tip of my fingers dance over the surfaces that I travel, and their sensations reach the core of my brain. That's how the sense of touch works. It's not that complicated. It is, but it isn't. The softness of the first spring flowers, or the roughness of a wall made out of rubbish, caressing, grabbing, clawing, no matter the time of day. No matter if I'm awake or asleep, as if they had a mind of their own. You should get that checked by a doctor. Even now, they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. Yeah, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Cease. Now these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. The rustle of fabric against fabric, of skin against skin, is irresistible. Stop. No! Stop it! I want to feel closer. I desire a weapon. To have it between them and around them. More and more and more. Sometimes, however, they can reach as far as they'd like. Good. Keep your hands to yourself. Hey there, Luffy. Need you to and chill the grow. fuck out. Maybe just the length of a fingernail every time. But they grow. Just so they can reach out. Clutch what they want. And then throw it aside. Discarded. And forgotten. That's why they are tired. Because they never stop seeking. Hey, it fits your lonely eyes. Most Frankly, good. Hey, stop. Have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something important? Yeah, I almost pulled a muscle. Only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp. Absolutely. <laughs> Have you? I remain silent. These hands. Are these my hands? Yeah. Yeah. There is only one way to know the truth. 
you're just gonna leave again. <laughs> I know that you're going to be gone, but here we are anyway. Ah, that skeezed me out. I don't like the hands, the grabby hands, his creepy, stretchy, grabby hands of death. I doubt that. Think about it. No. I don't wanna. Maybe you and I are similar. Unlikely. <laughs> no. I know we are. Okay. Okay. I can feel it in my skin. Stop. Oh. Can you hear it? Please don't be. My skin is. <laughs> it has been long since this happened. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. Well, turn that shit around and flow them back in because I don't want you flowing on me at all. Wander the world, wanting to be seen. Please go away. As long as someone tells me how I look, but it's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so. Since I could show myself to everyone at once. Yeah, do that, do that one. Every living person in this land. Yeah. And ask them all the same question. Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. It's a good way to do it. But it might not be the answer I wish for. That that's life, buddy. Just yeah. Since I don't want to be judged. I'm judging you pretty heavily. I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It'd help if you stopped disappearing anytime somebody tried to look at you. Just saying. It scares me. That is why. When someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide, fading into the dark. But you might be different. Nope. We have seen twice that that is that false. Way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. Uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel. Stop. Stop it. Feel something. I cannot describe it. I am not good with words. You sure ramble a lot for somebody who's not good with words. There was a person in my past. Who taught me to speak like a person? They were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Especially one as fucking creepy as you. Yet, they did. Simply because they could. Hmm. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. I am not. Sure, I don't care much for my appearance. You don't even know what you look like! I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me... Not gonna happen. Stop doing that. There it is again. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me, and you finally take those bed sheets off your body. I feel very, very exposed right now. And you inspect every crevice of mine. Is it? Does this count as sexual harassment? I think this. I think I'm being sexually harassed by a shadow demon. Finally. Open those tight lips of yours. That doesn't make it any better. To let me hear what I am. And to maybe even give me a name. Pervert. It makes me feel, but I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. Does my expression look like when that fell of uncertainty?
uncertainty finally disappears, what will we convey to each other? Answer me. It's an emotionless stare. Emotionless stare. I mean, it kind of fits. It lasts more than four hours. <laughs> See a doctor. I may hurt and I may grow, but I do not change. Not in the way other people do. People interact with each other. They form connections. They experience thrills. A person becomes someone different with each passing second. Turning old and perishing. However, I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. My journey began long ago. Longer than any person has ever journeyed. And in my life, I have seen others born and die. Born and die. A person's existence is so fleeting. And yet, so many things happen to them. So many worthwhile memories. It is something I lack. To write a book, I could not fill a single page. I think you could, just based off of what we've we've shared today. You could, you could really do it if you put your mind to it. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather because these memories mean nothing to me. Then what leads you to believe me? Looking at you will fix the problem. Say for a minuscule number, they are all the same, blending with each other into a mottled gray. Lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. Perhaps, if someone else had lived what I had, they would see meaning. They would treasure it. But I cannot. No matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do. And by extension, in what I am, I want for someone to tell me how I look. Yet, I don't see that as important. No one but me would care. So why should I care? Mean. But that you doesn't mean have I have to. never felt. I feel things. Joy. Sorrow. Fear. I am always feeling. And right now. Stop. With the pulsing. I am feeling strongly. It's here. In my pulsating skin. I don't want to hear about your pulsating There's skin an anymore. Expression. Oh, incorrect. You'll see something because what I'm feeling is not nothing. Hey, have you ever masked yourself with indifference only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath? Yes. <laughs> have you? Absolutely. I remain silent. This expression is this my expression. Yeah. I yeah. See. Yeah. Totally. Thank you. And you have done nothing but perv on me. These are my eyes. These are my hands. And this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. It's very one-sided. One born out of honest gratitude. Yeah, sure. But there's one step left. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. Yeah, let's do that. I open my eyes. God damn it. <laughs> there's nothing there. I see. I understand. 
Do you? No. It's fine. Is it? You have still helped me by answering my questions. No one has done that for me before, so I have no right to ask for anything else. However you have. No. And there it is. That is a lie. Ever since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. Not even once. Not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? Actually, if you look back at the history, I have opened my eyes several times, but you're the jackass who keeps leaving when I say I will. So, who's the asshole really? If you look back at the footage, it clearly shows that it is you. Not even once did you look at my face. Because you're too much of a bitch to stick around when I open my eyes. You stayed there, acting as if you were asleep, feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. I wish just as much that it was as you do, buddy. You haven't opened your mouth. Well, he has, and I have been running my mouth quite a lot. But you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. And I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. No. We are the same. Absolutely not. You too. Look for what's not there. Generally speaking, self-preservation overrides the ouchies. And you two are a liar. Hmm, am I though? The type that shows one thing and feels another. But you made a mistake. Oh. I know you're lying. Do you? Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. I am not what you said I am. Well? You never gave me a chance these to look. Eyes, these hands, this expression. They aren't mine. Probably not, but you know, I tried verbalizing it and Maybe looked, but you refused. Mm, well, mm. Mm, I mean, I, I suppose you but could guess that. Care. You picked a poor way to show it. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. And that's all you did. So now, you will open your eyes and see me for what I truly am. Will I? You said so. Remember? No, I didn't. That in this room, you know how everything looks. It was those words that brought me here. Okay, you have a point, but that doesn't make it right. <laughs> so you have to. You have to do right by that which you claimed. You're not a part of this room. You're just something that appears. time, open your eyes. Open your eyes. You have chance. It's not up to you anymore. You won't open your eyes. I will. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to answer, but they've grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is terrible, I imagine. Oh, oh, hey, hey, what's up there? I closed my eyes.
I already did, man. Oh. Open them. Okay. Open them now. Open, open, open. Open, open, open. Open, open, open. Yeah, that's gross. My head is splattered now. You suck. You can't see anymore, right? You can't talk anymore, right? You can't think anymore, right? Then, this is farewell. Thank you for trying, friend. Even though you are a liar, I leave this piece of myself here with you. I must go. I must look for the right person. Someone can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do. There's something in my hand. It's what they left behind. What is it? It feels important. I'm kind of like dead though, but I can no longer open my eyes. Well, that was eventful. <laughs> that was Don't Open Your Eyes, a uh, very terrifying experience, and also loaded. Great game, by the way, but loaded. Literally designed for you to fail <laughs> until he kicks your ass for not or for looking at him. Though, I'm kind of curious. What would happen if I didn't? If I just said no? You had your chance. It's not up to you. You won't open it. I will. Okay. So, that's just the same then. Alright, well, in either case, I mean, it makes sense. He uh, isn't happy with the fact that you didn't look at him, even though every time you try to look at him, he would have left anyway. So... That is Don't Open Your Eyes. If you like this video, leave a like down below. Comment if you have any tips, tricks, suggestions, or other videos you'd like to see, other games you'd like to see me play, anything like that, and anything of the sort. Don't forget to share this video around, check out the new social medias, subscribe and ring that notification bell, and we will see you guys in the next video. See you next time.